Neighbor is very simple person who, ne who lives next to each other. The aim is we talk to each other. In my childish time, I play with my neighbors, I share food with my neighbors, we enjoy all kinds of good memories together. In order to live in uh, communities that can benefit each other, we need to be nice to our neighbour. We need to learn from our neighbour. We need to love them. We need to share our resources with them. So I think this is the spirit of neighbour and I hope that this spirit can carry on for many generations. We are talking about the, you know, the question of the, 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 the Southeast Asia, particularly in the education. Now, the, how we can distinguish from the, our study to separate from the like, Western idea? Because of the Southeast Asia, they have a lot of rich culture and also local wisdom. Sometimes, as education side, we never less kind of focusing on that particular possibilities and less talking to each other. The curious part is Southeast Asia we send our kids to Westerners. We even don't know our neighbors like Singapore, Thailand, we, about their culture. It's not familiar, it's not normal, it's not familiar. Why don't we start some programs in, in Southeast Asia? Let us know each other more and get more resources in terms of only for the Westerners. We also realize that uh, the schools, they seldom talk to each other, they always have good connection with the West, but not so much within the neighbour. That sort of uh, situation actually pushes us to uh, launch the idea of neighbour by connecting design school in South Asia. In the beginning, we started with a three member, and then now I extend to the five. This year, Spanambul University in Laos, they're joining and then they are hosting about this program by co-hosting with the Thai side. Sabadi, Khapachau, Achan Pilakon, Sengdala, Pachuban, Kapena Chan Sot, Yuti Hana Sahapat, Mahavia Supanuong, Husukwa, Pin Project TD, Mi Panyo Tona Sixala, Kalei, Tassin Chai, Kapatan Kanabudi, Kawa Hanaja, Kau Huam, Nai Pokamni. อยู่ที่หลวงคบางก็เป็นเมืองมรดกโลกมีความน่าสนใจมีความเป็นเอกลักษณ์แทนที่ที่เขาจะบินไปหาต่างประเทศก็ให้ประเทศเพื่อนบ้านเขามาหาเขาโดยที่ให้เขาเป็นเจ้าภาพได้เกิด n e i g h b o r Program 2015อยู่ที่หลวงคบางเขาคิดว่าตัวนี้เป็นปัญหาใหญ่เพราะเขาไม่รู้จักความสนุกกับการทำงานแบบนี้ดังนั้นพวกเขาจะเป็นการทดสอบในการทดสอบเราจะให้ชั้นสามารถพูดกับคนจริงๆในเมืองลาวส์มีหลายแบบการทดสอบจากโปรแกรมจากโปรแกรมซูเปอร์อินเทนซีฟแบบต่อไปแบบโปรแกรมที่เป็นอะไรที่ดีๆสบายๆ And now I think for Luang Prabang, we kind of able to hit the balance that the students have good time together to to interact, to know each other, and at the same time they r e able to focus into a certain craft. And then the teacher too, you know, we have a different program for them, eat together or even to sightseeing together or even to discuss to meet together. So Luang Prabang, มีเอกลักษณ์ทางด้านงานฝีมือหัตถกรรมเขาก็เลยเลือกเอางานหัตกรรมจะเป็นโครงการในครั้งนี้ซึ่งก็ได้เลือกเอา3หมู่บ้านที่มีเอกลักษณ์ในงานหัตกรรมเช่นการตำผ้าตำแพนของบ้านพานมงานเจียสาที่อยู่ที่บ้านสร้างคลองและก็เกี่ยวกับการจักสารไม้ไผ่ต่างๆอยู่ที่บ้านดอนแก้วแล้วก็
actually yesterday we were here and we kind of getting to know the villagers and we plan with the villagers and how we gonna hold the session of the starting session so um, we divided into kind of three groups so each of the small groups of the students they pick up the different kind of techniques of the bamboo weaving. I was in the bamboo weaving group so what happened was um, we, um, we actually changed the concept of what they did. So like they used to weave baskets and like the arm bowls and stuff like that. It was hard at first because um, it was very hard communicating with them, the students as well. Slowly you become friends with them, so they, are, um, they start to be more accepting. We were asking like, oh, would, would you like to try colour or would you like to try a different concept of weaving? Then they were saying like, no, 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 it's, um, it's our tradition, we can't change it. But slowly we told them, oh, maybe you can try this or maybe you can try that. Over time we develop trust and maybe they, they are willing to change. So I think we, we kind of modernize and evolve their concepts. Um, I don't know will they be ex accepting towards it, but um, they were quite happy making something different. Traditional textile actually kind of complicated, but actually they have a very long history. And then so, and then the villagers actually very proud of their design, the text of their textile. They actually pay a lot of heart to it. They pay a long time to weave their textile. Since it's so difficult to change a pattern, and they want to preserve their own patterns, we were thinking that we can play with the colors. Yeah. And, and they up upgrade the value of their effort. The most, the most concept is like to sh to let them more to um, under to understand and to understand see uh, what we saw behind the scenes, the hard work, the effort, and the time taken. And promote mm -hmm. their culture. Yeah, because for one show, they actually take up to five days to um, weave it. Yeah, and it's a long time, and there's a lot of effort involved which people don't see, so they cannot justify the price they pay. <coughs> but if we un let them understand how much effort to do that piece of fabric, they will appreciate it more and uh, see it in a different light, so the value can be increased as well. I think that this whole experience here is very eye-opening. because I don't get to see such beautiful scenery and rivers in Singapore. We don't have it there. And as I get down, I start to feel uncomfortable because I saw a sight of rubbish together with beautiful nature. So as a, someone who shares the same environment, this planet, I think it's our job to come together and play a part to clean this uh, beautiful Macomb River out. Yeah. That led us to the idea of instead of picking beautiful flowers, we can pick up the trash and create a story with this um, village which makes paper, traditional sa paper. Yeah. It's very nice to hear different feedback from different people from different places and they've all agree on this, this whole concept of cleaning and helping. Meaning, I think that all these elements, attitude, can be found in every art, regardless where we are from. Yeah. I think that neighbor program is bringing this craft in their hands and having people, having the craftsmen giving them um, tutorials on how to weave baskets, how to weave fabrics, how to make paper, um, is giving them a broader uh, chance to understand how the materials can function in the final product. We really, really experience um, the, culture. the culture here, the people, mm -hmm. the life, uh, the everyday life here. And we see a lot more uh, during the 
uh, during one week here. Like when, before I came here, that I talked to my lecturer, so I kind of got an idea that neighbor program is about people from different countries come together and work together and somehow we share experience and our knowledge. When I came here, it's a lot more than that. We become friends and the experience that we share is not just about knowledge on what we have been studying at university, but it's about everything, like about family, about culture, about food. So we don't only get to know, for example, a Singapore friend or a Lao friend, but we get to know their personality as a person as well. There's a barrier between our communication because we cannot speak Laos. It's a good thing that there are Thai students that help us translate everything. And it's also fun to actually experience a project that actually need to have a translator in between. But we still managed to work out something and feel like it's quite amazing. I think neighbors is really nice. Okay? It's just like this time you come to Laos, you don't learn home. <laughs> you know the cultures and learn something different. I think it's really good for me that I joined the neighbor program. I know how to learn like a, the another style from my friend from another country and how to weave. I'm in Lao but I've never never know before that how did they do and when I'm joined the neighbor program is like a, I can learn so much in this uh, workshop. It's I mean so much. เป็นเรื่องดีที่ที่พวกเขามีโอกาสได้ได้เห็นหูประสบการณ์อันที่ดีจากทางสร้างประเทศนี้และเราได้ทางกลุ่มกันข้ามทางสร้างประเทศนี